much better. Okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Echo. Um, and today I want to share with you one of my greatest personal fears. I am constantly afraid that I smell. When someone says something along the lines of, do you smell that? Or what's that smell? I just kind of freeze internally and then my heart just sinks into my chest. And it's just like, what's that smell? Is it me? Oh God, I hope it's not me. What if it's me? When was the last time I showered? I showered this morning. But have I been sweating a lot? Maybe, uh, what, did I put on dirty clothes by accident? Maybe I just, maybe I stepped in something or I don't know, a, a crap. Crap, I think the pizza's burning. Unlike a lot of my fears, I know exactly where this one comes from. When I was in high school, there was a family of skunks living under my bedroom floorboards. You wouldn't know it though, because they didn't make any noise. They didn't come home smelling like skunks. They didn't ever spray in their own home, except for one week out of the entire year. And that was the week of spring break, because apparently the week of spring break was mating season. And skunks spray when they orgasm. At least I'm pretty sure. The first time it happened, I woke up in the middle of the night to what sounded like someone strangling a cat, but the cat was like weirdly enjoying it. And then, followed by an ungodly odor, which overtook my bedroom in a matter of seconds. I was a freshman in high school. I spent that entire spring break spraying my carpet with every cleaning product we had in the house and doing laundry three times a day. The same load of laundry. And when I was finally sure that I got rid of the smell, I got up the next morning and I went to school. Where the very first thing my homeroom teacher said was, Good morning, cl Does anyone smell a skunk? My heart sank down into my shoes. My nose had adapted to the smell of skunk and I couldn't smell it. I had no idea how bad I smelled. I had to stand up in front of the entire class and do this awkward walk of shame down the hall to the principal's office so that I could call my grandmother and have her come and pick me up. It was probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my entire life. We ended up calling an exterminator and he came and caught the skunks and then took them away. And then the year after that, we got more skunks and so we had to call the exterminator and he came and he picked them up and he took them away. Next year, more skunks, called the exterminator, he came, took them away. And then my senior year in high school, more skunks. We called the exterminator and he didn't answer. I ended up having to buy my own animal trap and I was left to catch the skunks myself. So when we caught the first skunk, I went ahead and I did some research about the proper way to kill a skunk. And now I feel really bad about it. But at the time I was just kind of like, die, 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 you evil creature from hell. I hate you. I am so sorry. So just in case you wanted to know, the proper way to kill a skunk is actually by drowning it. And once again, I am so sorry. Because if you kill it any other way, it will release its ungodly stench upon the world. So I told my uncle, take this painter's tape, drop it over the cage, fill an old trash can with water, and then put the entire cage, skunk and all, in the trash can, and then dispose of the body. And my uncle was like, yeah, okay. And then he shot the skunk. I think the smell may have killed a couple of my grandmother's trees. So even though my skunk roommates are behind me, I still worry that I smell bad. But it's okay, because you can't smell me through the camera. Hopefully. Is it recording? Yes. Spring renewal. Only you can change the world. Magical magicness. Oh, that's the good.